What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction. I'm Steve. To everyone watching on Patreon, I apologize that this video is one day late. I was pretty busy on Friday. Today, we're reacting to Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 3, Episode 13, The Cruise. Last week, as we all know, Peralta and Holt both had the mumps, and it was nasty. Craziness. Craziness. But what will we get into this week? Before I get into it, though, Please check me out on Patreon if you want to see this full uncut reaction and all my other uncut reactions. I have something for everyone and I even have a free tier. Let's get into it. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 3, Episode 13 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okie doke. The car's picking me and Amy up in two minutes. You sure you're cool keeping tabs on my cases while I'm on the cruise? Ooh. Damn, Jake is going time. on vacation. Hey, make Hence the cruise. <laughs> uh, He's serious. <laughs> The laminator who's ready for some oh, non-stop no. totally scheduled fun no not jake cruise offers 77 activities <laughs> and then i signed us up for seven she's like my older brother speed dating for widows seem like a bummer okay my brother so. always has an agenda say i love carousel cruises international ltd damn that's a long cruises one international i don't want to say that. <laughs> I brought a plastic tarp so we can eat shrimp in bed uh, but the all ages piano lounge has this is going to be a disaster day. huh to the all ages piano lounge murder see mm -hmm. amy tries but especially lady oh my god Get ready it's time for some smush song. oh my god <laughs> he's here we got songs about smushing songs for smushing. yo songs for the kid me hey peralta <laughs> you made it <laughs> what took you so long brother Okay, seems like he's playing it pretty cool. You're drinking a second can of seltzer. I need this <laughs> to settle my nerves. Hurricane Debbie is approaching. My little sister, Debbie. <laughs> oh. Once I used an exclamation point in an email, you called me Diana Ross. <laughs> I assure you, in this case, I do not exaggerate. Oh my God, who's going to play his sister? I swear to you, I heard the cab driver mumble under his breath, you will die tonight. Is that not the most insane thing <laughs> can you even raymond i cannot <laughs> i have to apply for this apartment i mean it just became available oh my We're god only two people to see it this is an opportunity you just don't get new york real estate <laughs> this. nope we saw it at the same uh -oh. time uh-oh made the best man win game on you want a free cruise without entering a contest. How do you think that happened? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I bought Speed 2. I brought you here because I'm in peril. Peril? Don't put my peril. Somebody's trying to kill me. <laughs> so I said for my best friend. I am not your best friend. I'm your worst enemy. Get that through your head. You can't arrest me, boo. We're in international waters, which is also why I can smoke <laughs> as much weed as I want. <laughs> The captain can have him arrested. He has total authority on this boat. Ooh. Perfect. Captains love me. Just wait until he... Mm. Yeah, about 40% of the crew are criminals. <laughs> it's hard to find normal womp, people womp. who want to live on a boat. As long as he's on my boat, Doug Judy is a free man. Nice. Let Doug Judy go. This is a Royale level suite. I never thought we'd see one in person. Look Look Perk that. being Carousel Cruises Entertainer of the Year. And I got word from a friend on the inside that they found me and there's a hitman coming to end my beautiful life. <laughs> That's why I sent you the free tickets. With this perfect hair. Nope, no way, I'm not buying it. You can't get away from me again. Amy and I are going to spend every second of our romantic cruise watching you. Oh, that's no... She thinks I'm the one who should apologize just because it turns out the hairbrush ended up being in my car. <laughs> yeah. What happened to my fun, big brother? Fun? Oh. That was never fun. You take that back. <laughs> when we were little, we would go down in the basement and he would build us a fort. Oh. We would stay down there all day. And Ray Holt was used to be fun. Oh, no thing but a chicken wing because I'm going to be here for six weeks. Oh, I'm my God. Here, okay. Oh, ready to jump out and kill me at any moment. Probably creeping around in my closet or stowed away in a lifeboat. Or hiding in a Can't wall. kill Doug Judy. I was in the shrubbery. Predator style. <laughs> They're nope. freaking. You brought him in here to butter him up. Yeah. And I've been laying it on. Ooh. Real. <laughs> Man. Oh. <laughs> you should be glad she has on. 
Don't want to mess up with another man's tank. <laughs> There's no way they're called tanks. It's true. They are. Clear a path. I'm about to whip my biscuit. Ooh, oh, a little far. Be more receptive to her interests. All right, now you're taking it too far, Judy. I don't need relationship advice for my criminal arch nemesis. <laughs> it's so funny. He really does. I'm Henry Coles. You're Henry Coles. According Interesting. To alert bracelet. This is Henry Coles. Hmm. Let's just take a look at that. Oh, it says Doug Judy is a liar. You're trying to get away, and it's not going to happen. We're spending the rest of this trip in your cabin. No. You have to take sleep shifts to make sure someone's always watching. Come on, Jake. Hey, oh my god. Go. Now do you believe me? That guy was trying to kill me. Right, or was it a setup? You dead. Every time we get emotional, he's like, noise, smart. Okay, can we focus up here? <laughs> Still don't smart. know what your hitman looks like. At least I died doing what I love. <laughs> Getting people horny at sea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> but if you're going to blend in, you got to blend in. Oh, he loves wearing some get-ups. You know I had a major crush on Magnum P.I. Oh. Major. Oh, should I grow a mustache? Yeah, you should. <gasps> you found me. Drinking seltzer in the shadows. <laughs> a lot of seltzer. You gotta fight drama with drama. Gina would know. The commissioner called again. He wants to know when crime will be down. Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to tell him? Gina is a great friend. Especially with Mercury in... Retrograde? Retrograde. <laughs> oh, I my God. I mean, the only reason I came is because Gary left me. Oh. What? Shit. You're both great applicants, but I've decided to rent the apartment to someone else. Ooh. I'm Horatio Velveteen. <laughs> that's a little song I wrote myself. That is a good name. Rosa. He like still this. loves Rosa. Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. That's the man you've been looking for. Oh my God, this is. Come on. You've been a great crowd. Oh, Thank you very much. Jake. Think of me when you smush. You just don't get the vibe here at all. There you uh, go. <sighs> Amy does it again. You okay, Judy? And now Judy is Judy? gone. No. No, 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 no. I saw an opening and I had to take I can't go to jail. I'm too cool. You'll never yep. get away from me, Judy. He will always get away. Check your pockets. Oh, God. Boom, boom, stay boom, baby. He's such a good criminal. But this isn't over. <laughs> So I funny. I love you too. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. Oh, he made a fort. You made a fort? I thought we could talk under you. You're under arrest for the murder of your tenant, Shirley Crouch. Damn, it was him. What are you talking about? If you go to jail, who makes the rental decisions in the building? <laughs> It'll pass to a trust. The bank controls it. You'll never guess what starts in three minutes. Salsa dancing. <laughs> oh, so you can guess. <laughs> okay, Jake, you got the picture. Also, I think this is definitely a dance class for widows. <laughs> Turn to your partner and tell them how your spouse died. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. I am extremely happy to see Doug Judy again, the Pontiac Bandit. I love how Brooklyn Nine-Nine brings characters back in ways that you would not think they would be coming back. Like the vulture, I just figured he would just be someone, oh, every so often he would screw with their arrest. You know, oh, the vulture's coming to do the vulture thing. But no, they make him the friggin' captain of the precinct for like five or six episodes. And then the Pontiac Bandit, it's usually, oh, the Pontiac Bandit's back. Something happened, we gotta go get him. But no, this time he freaking invites them on a cruise to protect him. Like, I'm getting Doug Judy, but not in the same typical Doug Judy, Doug Judy way, you know? And I absolutely love that. He's actually one of my favorite side characters in almost any show I've watched. Craig Robinson is just hilarious. And as the Pontiac Bandit, the dynamic he has with Jake 
I think is what puts it over the top because in a lot of movies, TV shows, even in comedy shows, when you have a cop or something who has a, someone who has a rival, whether it's Batman, you know, a superhero, police officer, someone they can never catch like Batman and the Joker, you know, it's always that dynamic. One guy is good. The other guy is bad. And they kind of really don't like each other. But with Jake and the Pontiac Bandit, as much as Jake kind of says things like when the Pontiac Bandit's like, we're best friends. And Jake's like, no, we're not. You're my rival. Like he's kind of telling the truth. But I really think that Jake does like the Pontiac Bandit. The only thing that makes them not able to hang out or not able to be good friends is that the Pontiac Bandit is a criminal. That's literally the only thing. And I know it's a big thing, but I'm just saying they have so much in common. And the Pontiac Bandit, he, to me, is not a manipulative person. I mean, obviously, yes, he knew he was going to be targeted. So he manipulated Jake, you know, to get him on there to help him. That's manipulation. But he doesn't lie to do that. Like, he doesn't pretend to be his friend. Like, when the Pontiac Bandit says things, it comes off the as true the way Craig Robinson is playing this character. Like he really likes Jake. I think he really is, wants to be his friend, but he also knows they kind of can't be. And they both know at the end of the day, he's going to get away, but he'll be back. Like he will obviously be back. And even though his life is in danger, he's always kind of giving advice. You know, he's aware of situations. He kind of sees how early you know, Amy wants to do a whole bunch of things and Jake just doesn't want to do it. And the Pontiac Bandit is basically like, don't sleep on Amy. Like, she's a great person. Like, you should be doing these things. Don't be selfish. Um, do things that she wants to do while he's like kind of swindling him to get away. Like, that's what I like about that relationship. Just to put it um, simply is if Doug Judy was not a criminal, I really think him and Peralta would be best friends like Peralta and Charles would be like best friends on this side. And then Peralta and Doug Judy would be best friends on this side. And it looks like Amy actually really likes Doug Judy too. Like they're, they're a perfect, like the three of them get together and they're like, they like each other. It's just obviously again, that dynamic of police officers and a criminal, you know, it doesn't seem like he tries to sweet talk them. As I said earlier, another form of manipulation Everything Doug Judy says is true. Like he, I don't think he's lying and that's what makes it funnier. And I don't think um, anyone but Craig Robinson could play this part because I also feel like not a lot, but some of Doug Judy's lines are probably ad-libbed because Craig Robinson is just an amazing comedian. So yeah, I, you bring Doug Judy back. It's a banger of an episode. This was hilarious. And uh, mostly because of Craig Robinson. And that's not to diminish anyone else. They're great. But whenever we get Craig Robinson, it's just off the wall. Um, it was nice to see a little a little tidbit of Holt as a kid being different than he is now. We understand why Holt is so kind of serious. He is a funny guy. Don't get me wrong. Holt is funny. He is caring. He is serious. And we know from multiple flashbacks that the reason why he's like that now as a captain is because of the way he was treated for being a black man when he was younger. Like he has to be that way. So it's nice to go back to a time where he was just like a happy go lucky kid where he did kid things, you know, and he kind of suppresses that. But we find out that for, through his sister that he used to build pillow forts in the basement and do fun things and silly things. So that was a really nice callback at the end of the episode where he found out about his sister's husband and, you know, he just had a, a change of heart. Like she needs me. I, I need to be here for her in, you know, a way that uh, could make us bond, you know. So he went back and he built the fort in his office. So, you know, builds up all the memories and it kind of cements that he's serious about wanting to be there for her. So that was beautiful. That was lovely. I really like that. But all in all, another, another, another great episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine capped off with a cameo from Doug Judy. And it's nice that he was in 90% of the episode. I love it. So I cannot wait to see Doug Judy again. Um, I do hope he is like at least one episode per season. But if they want to bring him back for multiple, 
I will not complain. So what did you all think of this episode? What do you think of my reaction and my thoughts? And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.